Hi, this instructional video for the Shearwater Petrol Nitrox Recreational Mode will cover a nitrox dive. So the first thing I'm going to do is I need to go and show you how to change the gas. Uh, I've always been using the system setup menu. There is a dive setup menu. Now the difference between system setup and dive setup is everything that's in dive setup is also available during the dive. So I can go into this define gas menu I can turn gases on or off or edit their oxygen content during a dive. This menu is available during a dive, but I'm just going to step out of this. I'm not going to edit it here. I'm going to edit it in the system setup menu. There's also a few other settings that you can edit during a dive. The system setup menu, this is not available during a dive, so make sure all settings in this menu are set before the start of your dive. Uh, one thing I'm going to change here is I'm going to show the maximum operating depth of the current gas uh, on the main screen. So we get to the nitrox gases page. Now I'm going to edit that and I'm going to edit this gas. Uh, I'm not going to be able to turn this off because it's the active gas and there's no alternate so can't do that but I can change the O2 content and I'm going to change it to 32 percent. Now what you may have noticed now is the maximum operating depth has automatically been adjusted for me. You can't edit the maximum operating depth directly, uh, but what I can edit is the maximum operating depth partial pressure of oxygen max limit to use. And you'll see as I edit this, as I allow the partial pressure of oxygen to be higher, the maximum operating depth will increase. But there's a, another limit of 130 feet and I've hit that limit now so that's why this is changed to grayed out. It's showing me that the other limit now is controlling my maximum operating depth. And if you don't know what this means then leave it at 1.4. Okay, uh, that's, that's the recommended limit for recreational diving and we would recommend that you never exceed a partial pressure of oxygen of 1.6. So I'm gonna leave that at 1.4. I've programmed in my my nitrox mix and will go and start the dive. Uh, but I said I was going to do this dive in meters since I did the last one in feet. And the system setup, I don't need to change anything here. I'm going to show you a setting now in the advanced config menu. And you enter into it, this menu like this. And I can set a bunch of things here, like I can change the, the font color that's used. I like white. I can change the color, uh, sorry, white and green are the only options here. Um, but, whoops. I like white and the title color can be set to blue, gray, white, green, cyan, or blue. I like blue. So the end dive delay, I'm not going to cover that right now. I'll cover that in another um, instructional video. So the maximum depth here. Uh, this, is, this is 40 meters. It was showing 130 feet in the other screen. I've changed the units though. Uh, this can be changed from up to 50 meters down to 30 meters. The default setting is 40 meters. Uh, in feet, the default would be 130 feet, maximum value of 165 feet, minimum value of 100 feet. So I'm going to leave it there at 40 meters and we're going to go to the main screen. Now you can see the main screen is showing I've got a nitrox gas 33% O2. When you set the gas, the remainder is always assumed to be nitrogen. So in this case, we would have 68% nitrogen. The maximum operating depth of this gas is 34 meters. And we've got our, our temperature and time display here as well. I'm gonna quickly show you how you could plan for your next dive. And I'm gonna do that in the NDL planner, the no decompression limit time planner. I hit plan. My next dive is gonna start right away. If I was planning for in the future, I could account for the off-gassing that's going to occur in the surface interval between now and the next dive, but I don't want to do that. I want to plan for right now. It's going to calculate, and at 15 meters, I've got 99 minutes of NDL with the 32% nitrox. At 24 meters, I've got 27 minutes. So let's remember that. 24 meters, 27 minutes. Okay? Uh, I'm going to quit out of here, back to the main screen, and let's start diving. So, 
again, uh, I've, start, I've increased the depth. There's going to be a short delay, 8 seconds, until it actually moves into dive mode. And once it does that, I'm going to go down to 24 meters. Just to show you how this compares to the plan. As we, as we approach 24 meters, the NDL, sorry, the NDL will reach around 27 minutes, which was what our, our plan showed. Um, there we go. At 24 meters, the NDL is 27 minutes. That matches with our plan. Uh, we can stay at this depth for, okay, now we've got 28 minutes, you know, it, it's not 100% exact, depends on how quickly you ascend and descend, things like that. Um, the maximum operating depth of my gas, 34 meters. I will show you what would happen if I exceeded that. There we go. We get the maximum operating depth warning because I have exceeded my maximum operating depth of my gas. So that, that, that's it. The, the next video will show, will show uh, decompression diving using multiple nitrox gases. Uh, quickly, you just saw we got a high PPO2 warning. That's because the PPO2 exceeded the value that I had set in the, dive, uh, the gas setup menu. Thank you.